Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void! Today, it's going to be a ZVZ between Zanster and TLO here on Port Alexander, the latter edition from WCS Spring. Haven't cast a ZVZ in a while, so I figured I would do so for those of you who are fans of that sort of thing. And in the bottom right hand corner, we find fan favorite and all around general nice guy. It is TLO, the little one. And in the top left-hand corner, it is the Blue Zerg player, his enemy, Zanster. Zanster, pretty fantastic player too here. Both of these EU Zergs in that area, right in that uh, echelon of players who play Zerg in the EU, GM, pro-level stuff. Uh, you just you run into a lot of this if you play on the ladder in the EU server. It's just what it is. A lot of Zergs. The best players in this, con in this uh, not country, but region, in this region are definitely Zerg. I gotta say, I mean, Serral is on the top of that list. Their Showtime, very good as well. I mean, there's Hero Marine, and there's Marine Lord, and there's just all sorts of um, Harstoms in involved. But I gotta say, I really do feel like that the Zs are the best representatives of that particular area. And what that says about EU, I don't know. But regardless, both players pretty much doing the same thing. Quick ass here from Zanster, though. Oh, no, no, TLS is coming up as well. So same darn build here. It's a hatch gas pool here. Pretty greedy. About 17 supply there on that pool. But uh, apparently they are recognizing each other's build styles, recognizing each other's play styles. And at this point, not super worried about it. Not worried about a quick pool and a ling flood. Or maybe they're just gambling. They might just be gambling here and saying, well, you know, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But this is an all-around very safe build that allows you to handle big ling floods that are not too early. As well as handle things like roach attacks. It keeps you economically uh, on those, you know, roach ravager battles that we're probably going to see here sooner rather than later. In this replay, trying to find a longer one for you. I just feel like ZVZ gets more interesting the longer it goes on. Uh, I just, I don't know. Some people love the Ling Baneling stuff, but for me, I see it coming and I'm just like, eh. I mean, one Baneling hit destroys 10 Zerglings and you win. It's like, hey, way to go. Just one little misclick, one little miscontrol, and the whole thing is over. Not my favorite thing to see. Um, I'd rather see multiple mistakes <laughs> come into you losing. Is that fair? Maybe it's, maybe it's fair. Anyway, it is uh, SGDQ right now. That is Summer Games Done Quick. GDQ is an amazing organization that brings speedrunners in from all over the world to speedrun games on Twitch. They put their VODs on YouTube too. And they do it for a good cause. It's for Doctors Without Borders this year, which is an amazing organization of healthcare physicians that go out there and just help people. Just help them medically, no matter who they are, no matter where they are. It's wonderful, wonderful organization. And you should check it out. Just go to uh, twitch.tv slash games done quick. They're going to be here for a while. It's a big thing. Summer done. Uh, Summer Games Done Quick is a long event. They're going to do a lot of games here. When I'm casting this, it's uh, the... Actually, are we... Yeah, it looks like we're moving into the Zelda block. So you might have missed it by the time this comes out, but check it out. They're not a sponsor or anything. I don't actually have any official sponsors. But I just... If you love video games, you'll probably love something about GDQ. And if you, if you don't know about it, this is your introduction. I didn't know about it until a couple of years ago. And it's been going on for a while. Like 2000, boy, when did it start? At least 2012, 2010. Started small, and they're big now. They are a big name. Just a lot of patience and a lot of just good, good organizational skills. I like these dudes a lot. All right, anyway, stuff's happening in the StarCraft universe. Couple lings go out for Zanster. A whole bunch of lings go out for TLO, though. Uh-uh. You're not getting in here to scout. He sees no Baneling Nest, though. This is just a Ling Flood to try to take down Zanster's third. Banelings are here for Zanster, though. Can they finish in time to chase these Lings off? It looks like they might. God, oh, I don't know. That's a lot of Zerglings, man. Oh, look at them sacrificing their lives. And the hatch is going to get sniped. That was close, though. That was really close, though. But TLO does get away with sniping down that base with a Ling Flood. His worker count is about the same. He has a third base, whereas Zanster does not. What a huge pickup for TLO. Excuse me, TLO, the German uh, Zerg player, who, I, he moved to Toronto recently, so he lives in Canada, but he's definitely German by birth and German by nationality. I like him a lot. See, what we're trying to do here is send one of the Lings into the Banelings to make it explode on one Zergling, which is horrible for the Baneling player, but Zanster controlling his Banelings manually, not allowing them to explode on a single Zergling, well played there. So yeah, at this point, losing that third base, I don't know how you come back from that if you're Zanster. I mean, it's just... Mm, incredible Baneling control. Might be able to do it here, but man, the larva production is going to be so much more for TLO. He's already got, got a queen out there, too. Zanster's trying to replace his third. TLO is threatening it here just a little bit. And some Zergling's trying to see. Let me get a scout off and check if there's a Spire coming up or if there's a Roach Warren anywhere. Oh, that Baneling almost shut down that... Almost shut down that scout, but nope. 
Oh, are you going to Baneling up here? Where are your Banelings? I don't know. Once again, third base under attack. There are already Banelings here to defend, though. One. Yeah. Oh, he does have his own Banes. Oh, this is so bad for Zanster. Get out of there. Banelings, Banelings, and still one remaining. And it's gone. Ugh. This is just so tense. I hate playing it and casting it is almost as stressful. And yeah, he's going to deny the third base. Cancel it. That's a cancel. Yeah, he had to cancel it there. He knew. He knew what the problem was. Might get this queen before the banelings come up. Oh, banelings take forever if you're waiting for them to come in. Yeah, queen down is massive. Another queen snipe down. Massive. Another queen possibly snipe down. Boy, it's getting close here, isn't it? Ling's getting into the main base here. Does he have an upgrade? He doesn't have a plus one upgrade. He's just doing incredibly well with these lings is all it is. Yeah, man. TLO handling it. Handling it here today. He's just on fire. What is it? 23 to 9 army supply in favor of TLO. 48 to 46 on the worker supply. Yes, that's fine, Zanster. You have a whole ton of workers, but you're oversaturated. You don't have a third base at all. TLO totally does. He's making roaches now. You're making lings and vein lings. It's going to be really hard to come back from this. I've been in this position too many times myself to be happy about it, but I recognize what's going on. Roaches are out, recognizing what's here. And Zancer's like, ah, the roach, the roach parade has begun. All I have are lings and banelings, which can be good if you outnumber the roaches by a whole lot. If you have a whole lot of zerglings and some banelings to soften them up, and maybe the lings have plus one, you can make something happen, but he's going for it. He knows he doesn't have time to get a roach worn down before the roaches start showing up here, so he's going for a lair. Does he have a Roach Warren? He does not. He does not have a Roach Warren. Nor, again, is he starting one at all. He hasn't really bothered TLO all that much. He's done some scouting with Lings, but other than that, what has died here on the other side of the map? 54 Lings have gone down for TLO, but no drones at all. 58 to 44 workers on three bases. TLO is just owning this match so far. Without question. Keep sending Zerglings around to scout things, trying to see if there's anything that could really wreck TLO's day, but there's not... Now, here's the thing. We have a Spire, and you're like, well, but Falcon, Mutalisks can shoot down, and Roaches can't shoot up. Don't they win? Well, no, they don't, because the Spire takes forever to come up, and if you're waiting on the Spire, meanwhile, your other opponent is making Roaches nonstop, and the Roaches will show up before the Mutas can show, and the Mutas don't kill the Roaches fast enough to stop the Roaches from killing everything. Roach armor is insanely good. It's got that plus one base armor. Mutalisks just aren't great against anything with base armor. But this is pretty good. This is pretty good by Zanster. Just shutting down this little roach. The roach reinforcements. Look at this Banelings. The splits, though. TLO. He played Terran initially. That was a Terran level split there against those Banelings. Loving that. More Baneling attacks. And Ling's coming on in. Can Zanster hold off on this? Can he hold it? No! He can't hold it. TLO gets the win. Too many roaches at the front. Too many reinforcing roaches. Cruising across the map. That is game one of our sneaky twofer where TLO did manage to get the game one win in eight minutes against Zanster. Well done. Well done there for sure from, again, the German Zerg. That split was fun. That might be the thumbnail, honestly. We'll check it out. We will check it out as the thumbnail possibly. But yeah, Zanster, he really didn't have anything he could do but go for Spire and just hope his Lings and Banelings could hold off the Roach Assault. But odds were low. And TLO gets the win in game one. Let's check out game two. Be back in just a second. TLO, can you 2-0 this guy? Or is Zanster going to take revenge in our sneaky twofer? Let's find out here on year zero. Top right, TLO. Top left, Zanster. And top middle, it is Amon. What's up, Amon? No, no, no. Don't, don't be shy. Where are your beautiful eyes? Your beautiful red eyes. There they, and there they are. Amon's coming to say hello. Hey, man. You are the star of the Legacy of the Void series, man. You're the big guy. You're the one that everybody wants to be and everybody's afraid of and has all the power. Good stuff from Amon. All right, what's going on over here? Still no pool first from either of these players. We're going to hatch first at both of them. Maybe they have a gentleman's agreement that they won't go pool first in this series. I don't know. That's probably entirely against the rules. Let's not make any implications or any... um. You know, just any assumptions that that's the case, because it's probably not the case. It's just it's safe to do. You can hold off a quick 12 pool with your hatch first with drones. You can get lings out fast enough. Depends. I mean, I don't know, man. If you get your pool down before the extractor, it's a lot easier. But oh, this is such a delayed 
This is such a delayed extractor here for TLO. He's gonna go. Is he gonna go pool? Oh my gosh, TLO! <coughs> I'm sorry, I choked on my own spit there. TLO is going three hatch before pool in a ZVZ. Three hatch extractor pool in a ZVZ. This is the greediest possible opening you can do in a ZVZ, and it terrifies me. It abjectly terrifies me. Zanzer's pool is almost done. TLO's is not even halfway complete at this point. It might be the case where the Lings do have to traverse across the map and he can keep stuff safe. Just on sheer... There's a lot of HP on a hatcheriness. God, this freaks me out, man. If this works, I'm going to try doing this in my ZVZs. <laughs> Does it seem like a terrible idea to you? It seems like a terrible idea to me. All right, man, it's just two lings. Zanzer's not even planning on ling flooding here. This, oh, this gamble. This gamble is absolutely gorgeous. Zanzer has no idea. He had no idea this third hatch was coming up. He just scouted in, saw the hatch first. That's nice. Doesn't see the timing on the pool at all because he didn't want to go in there. And he's not even going to bother scouting the third. This is so brazen from TLO. I kind of super love it. Now he's fine. I think now he's totally fine. I, I mean, uh, Zanster, I guess, could Ling flood him as his, well, his speed is not that far ahead either. I mean, it's ahead, mind you. It's about halfway complete, whereas TLO's is closer to one-fifth complete, so that's not good for him. But he's trying to keep this hidden, I think is what he's, oh, he knows. Zanster knows there was a quick third that went down. He's like, oh boy, third for me. Throws down his third base. It is way late, though. TLO's larva production is going to be through the roof. Compared to that for Zanser, a three-basing Zerg versus a two-basing Zerg is a terrible, terrible thing. I think Zanser needs to make an attack happen approximately now. Or he's just going to keep falling further and further behind. That said, Baneling Ness is almost done for TLO. That's going to help him defensively immensely. Baneling Ness from Zanser is a little bit further behind on that. So just timings on when you build your buildings is so important in ZVZ. And knowing when your opponents are doing their things is so hard too. Alright, so the third's going to get chomped on a little bit maybe. Might as well, the Lynx say, we're not going to kill it. Might as well chomp on it. Maybe kill a drone. Nope. Oh, yep. Speed. Speed is so good for Zerglings. Speed is good for everything. I know I say this a lot, man, but speed in an RTS game is an important upgrade. It always is. Link gets a full scout off, sees no quick lair, sees no roach warren, sees just a ton of droning from TLO. He's at 40 workers on three bases. Zanser's at 39 on three bases, though, so you know what? He's kind of caught up here. He's doing okay. This is the mystery of ZVZ to me. It really is. I wish I knew more of how Zanser did that. Look, if you saw the game right now, you'd be like, oh, we're even. It's 40 to 42 workers. TLO's got a couple more, but it's three base to three base, and army supply is about the same here, too. What the crap? How did TLO get through a three hatch before pool, get away with it, and then be even with Zanser at this stage of the game? It's insane. Seriously, ZVZ. It's it's a mess. It's always a mess. No matter what. Even in macro games, it can be a mess. All right. Here come the Zerglings from Zanser. Going to try to get up here and make some stuff happen. There are some defensive Banelings, though, so never mind. You're not making anything happen here, it turns out. Yeah. Uh, no. Nope. You're not going up there either. Just, oh, nicely done, though. There's that one-for-one one trade we talked about. Oh, that was not as good of a trade. That was like three or four Zerglings for one Baneling. New no. Zergling scouts on in. I'm loving this Zanster scouting stuff and another one for one trade there. Zanster, he's doing incredibly well, even though he really shouldn't be by all counts. Did he just cancel his Roach Warren? Oh my gosh, was that by accident? Zanster, Zanster, where's your Roach Warren? Zanster. All right, uh, Zanster's Rotorn was just popping. Oh, did he scout the Spire? No. TLO's going Spire this game, which again, I'm not a big fan of, but Zanster's not going Roaches. Mutas are better against Lings and Banelings, without question. TLO's got a fourth base coming up, and so does Zanster. Zanster's is a little bit ahead, actually. I just... Sure, sure, whatever. <laughs> 
I, I just feel like in a ZVT, you go three hatch before pool against a Terran, and you just beat them if they can't punish it. But there was no punishment from Zanster at all. You're just able to catch up magically somehow. They're both going Spire now, actually. Zanster's starting his own Spire. Are we going to see Mutas? Man, we have not seen a Muta Muta play in a CVZ in a while. Just because Spore Crawlers are so good. That's a lot of Banelings from Zanster, though. Defensive Banelings are here. Let's trade them out. That was a good trade. That was a good trade for TLO. He lost a couple Banelings, but three or four went down for Zanster. Those Banelings getting canceled. Oh, nicely controlled. Nicely controlled by Zanster. Roaches are here from TLO. Nine Mutas on the way from TLO, too. So we made a handful of Roaches here. It's getting plus one melee attack. And now his Mutas are on the way, and Zanster Spire is not done yet. Yeah, Mutas do really, really well against Lings because they have so little HP and they have no natural armor. Nor do they have armor upgraded. Oh, they do actually have plus one Carapace, which is nice. That is nice. That's a good upgrade for Zanster to get when your opponent's going Mutalisk, is that Carapace upgrade. Fourth base from TLO under assault by Lings come cruising on in. Zanster's fourth base is done, but there's nothing mining here at all, as it turns out. Yeah, I don't... Zanster, can you... I guess there's Bane Lings. You're trying to... Take down this fourth. Mutalis coming on in. It's Muta versus Muta action. What? What year is it? What the heck is Muta versus Muta action these days? Oh, no way. They don't get this. No, they don't. Okay. Bailing was overkill, in fairness. Super mega overkill. But Roach? Look, again, just how long it takes to kill these Roaches with these Mutalis. Okay, when it's like a 7-1 scenario, you're okay. Lings. Forcing the Mutalisks back home by getting into TLO's third base. Defensive Lings and defensive Mutas are here. But both players losing some workers at a pretty nice clip at this stage. Man, this is crazy. This is... Uh, this is... Here's... Uh, her Heart of the Swarm stuff is what this is. Heart of the Swarm for a long time was all Muta versus Muta in every ZBZ you ever played. And then they brilliantly fixed it by balancing it so that Spore Crawlers did bonus damage versus biological air targets. And it really changed it. Mutas are viable, but they are not... Uh, but they're not required, basically, anymore. You can hold off Muta attacks with Spore Crawlers, whereas you couldn't before. It would take way too many spores to be worth it to hold it against Mutalisk attacks. You just made Mutas of your own. All right, man. Mutaflock leading pretty intimidating there. It's 21 to 19, though. Pretty even. TLO's got his own. He's making five more. We're just going to max out on Mutalisk. Is that what the plan is here today, guys? Mutaling, man. Again, Wings of Liberty, Heart of the Swarm level StarCraft is what this is. I have not cast a Muta versus Muta ZVZ in, I feel like, at least a year. It's insane. This is good stuff, man. This is good ZVZ. I was worried this was just going to be another like Roach Ravager game that everybody's seen a million times, but I don't know. There's a pretty good chance you've never seen a Muta versus Muta battle before in ZVZ. It's not that common, and if you don't necessarily like ZVZ a lot, then even more, even more possible you've never seen this. So it's just going to be Mutalus Harass North, Ling Harass South here for Zanster. They're working on plus two melee attack, which I love to see melee attack for Lings. It just gives them so much more utility. Now, one Spore versus the entire Mutalisk flock? No, it is not enough. Yet, look at him hold away from it. He knows. He knows losing one or two Mutalisks to that Spore is not worth it in the long run. Supply blocks TLO quite nicely, though, and let the chase begin. I don't... <laughs> and just chases him out. Chases him out of his property. Lings in the bottom attacking each other. Nobody knows who's going to win. Zanster decides to pull on back home. So both players have held on to their fourth bases for quite some time. TLO's is pretty low on HP. I mean, some Lings running in here or some Mutalisks flying in could shut that down quite nicely, but all the blue is on the left side of the map right now. Zanser has managed to get a fifth base. He's ahead now, you guys. He's ahead in base count versus someone who went three hatch before pool on him. Three hatch extractor before pool on him. I just want to point that out. I guess the rush distance on this map is so long. Maybe it's more viable. Seems possible. Yeah, these poor Zerglings, they just can't do anything about the Mutalisks trying to crash their heads in.
Good golly. Ten more mutas on the way from Zanster here. His muta flock is huge. This is where you start. There you go. Infestors. This is where you start getting fungals. Because you just it's hard to manage that many mutalisks coming at you as Zerg without fungal. Yeah, see that spore? It almost got a mutalisk for its trouble. Took one down to like two HP. Oh my gosh. Are we base racing here? The army? For TLO is way out of position to stop this from happening. Oh man! 11 minutes in, base race time! Zerg base race, yes! Yes, I'm so excited right now. <laughs> Spire gonna get taken down. Denying flyer attacks level 2 for TLO. Meanwhile, I guess he's still making mutalisks. Yeah, that's right. Zanster is. Zanster's gonna win this game, you guys. I mean, everybody's getting absolutely wrecked at the stage. They're desperately throwing up spores, trying to get stuff done, but... Three spores is nice, but not when your opponent has 46 mutalisks. <laughs> I don't even... I don't even know what this game is anymore. I love this game. This might get an epic tag, depending on how things go. Zanser versus TLO epic tag. Would you guys click on that? I mean, if you're watching this, you clicked on it, and you got pretty far into it, too, so... That's nice. Meanwhile, Zanster's plus two attacks gonna get denied. His spire does go down, but he had some more time to make mutalisks. And it's currently 53 to 40 right now. Zanster has a 13 mutalisk lead on TLO. Zanster's lings are getting in on the trouble right now, too. That's nice. I mean, if you're base racing, Zergling DPS is pretty great, honestly. Yeah, I think Zanster has this. It's 131 to 82 supply, 125 to 82 army supply. There's just nothing here for TLO. His income is garbage. He has no workers left. He does have a hatchery. And by hatchery, I mean a lair. And so he can make drones. But coming back here, it's only five workers for Zanster. It's not like he's killing it. And by the way, fewer than that. Because anyway, a couple more went down. It's just the number of hatches here for Zanster. Way more, but he doesn't have as many minerals is the problem. So, I mean, I think if you're Zanster, you just go, man. It's 53 to 40 mutas. Just win. I know you want to defend, but you have more stuff to kill. You can win a base race, and you can win a direct engagement, dude. If you lose this because you're too passive, I'm going to be really upset with you, Zanster. I'm going to fly to your house and knock on the door and be like, Come on, man. You had that game versus TLO on your zero. And I'll be like, I know. I know, Falcon. I'm sorry. That's what he's going to say. Because everybody in the EU speaks good English. It's just, they teach it in the schools. I don't know. Americans, we're bad at it, but Europe's good at it. Especially Sweden. I learned a couple years ago, Sweden is like crazy good at English. A lot of their TV programming is in English too, which, sure, I'll take it as an American. That sounds great. Probably more because of the British influence. But yeah, Zanser's up 14 to 0 workers. I, the income is insanely high for Zanster comparatively to TLO anyway. And yeah, TLO, he's defending, but like, I don't... What are you defending, man? You don't have the resources to make another hatch. You can make some drones if you want. He's not doing that. I'm not sure why. Zerglings getting on in, trying to see what they can do. I guess he knows if he makes drones, this will happen. And Zerglings will cruise on into his maiden and kill them all. So, there aren't any. And all the lings... Well, some of the lings will get murdered. All of them? All of them will get murdered! Zanster's like, I just want a fully saturated base with a ton of spores before I move out. Let's just play it incredibly safe here. Incredibly safe. Like, the safest of all safeness. He knows. Tilo's done. Tilo is it's all over but the, the crying? What is it? All over but the singing? Something like that. Fat Lady sings, all over but the crying. Yeah, I think that's the official one there. I am sneaking glimpses at the... Uh, Breath of the Wild. Game's done quick here. Speed run. Over on my other monitor. There are some crazy things you can do in that game. I've already seen some stuff. Uh, I don't have a Switch. Uh, I'm not really a huge fan. And there's your good game. Ah, I wanted a final battle. TLO's like, oh, I see. You have 21 workers and I have none. And you have more Mutalisks than I do. And you're replacing your Spire. You're not interested in going in there to kill me. You're just going to overwhelm me with stuff later. Which, eh, who, who got time for that? Ain't nobody got time for that. TLO no, got time for that. So good job, Zanser. Got his revenge, man. He fairly well got outclassed by TLO in game one. So I'm glad to see him win this game. Just the nature of ZVZ, though, honestly. 
Anyone can take a game off anybody in ZVZ, I feel like. It's dumb. It's kind of dumb that way. But uh, things are good. Things are good here. In Zancer versus TO Land, we are even and balanced, as all things should be. And yeah, good one. Again, I just I need somebody in the comments to explain to me how Zanster exactly got ahead of TLO after TLO opened three hatch gas before pool. How? TLO did not ling flood him. He didn't make a ton of stuff. He was droning as hard as Zanster was. I don't get it. I mean Zanster catching up, maybe I can see that, but he got ahead. Blows my mind. Absolutely does. All right, that's going to be it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Go ahead, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch. All at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.